What's up guys and it's time to enter the era of speed. In about 6 days Tim Cook will say Good morning! And the next big thing from Apple will be unveiled. October 13th is the official date and in case you don't know, we're gonna see 4 iPhone 12 models, a brand new accessory called AirTag, HomePod Mini and AirPod Studio headphones. And by the way, if you're not interested in the iPhone 12, don't worry cause we have some bombshell news about the next year's iPhone 13. But first, let's break down the secrets from Apple's official iPhone event invitation. First thing you can notice is the tease of the brand new colors, they are in line with what we have heard. According to the leaks, the orange color is coming to the iPhone 12 mini model and a brand new navy blue color is coming to the iPhone 12 Pro series. This color is said to be the flagship color replacing the midnight green color from last year. The Apple logo on the first circle is the sign of AirTags as you can see side by side it looks very similar to how the AirTags will actually look. This is going to be a brand new accessory to help you track your things without ever losing them all without internet or any sort of connectivity all thanks to the ultra wideband technology. Also the tagline that Apple is using high speed this is the sign of 5G and the Apple A14 chip which by the way absolutely blows the competition away with its amazing performance. We've got the first ever Geekbench score coming via iPad Air 4. It's coming out with the highest numbers. It's also the most efficient chip in the game coming with the 5 nanometer process. In comparison to the absolute best chip we have in the Android world the Snapdragon 865 Plus is definitely a lot more powerful than that. Apple is once again leading the game uh, we can hope that the Exynos 1000 next year might be able to match the scores and same can be said with the Qualcomm 875 according to some early benchmark scores leak again Apple has been ahead for a while now let's see if Android can catch up now once again for the last time the high speed tagline is not about 120 Hertz refresh rate it's been said multiple times that this year 120 Hertz promotion screen is not coming to the iPhones the iPhone 12 lineup is still coming with the 60 hertz refresh rate. 120 hertz refresh rate is the standard of flagship phones in 2020 but when it comes to iPhones they already are pretty famous for their smooth performance so quite a lot of people out there won't be caring about this feature but if this is something that you absolutely need then you have to wait for next year. According to the analyst Ross Young the 120 hertz is very likely to happen on the iPhone 13 model. Not only that we also have the first design related leak of the Apple iPhone 13. According to iCineverse Apple will be shrinking the notch of the iPhone 13 next year. A very very early leak I would say. Things could still change but Ice Universe has a fairly decent track record and he says that the notch will get smaller. It's not gonna be a completely full screen display. One thing that is confirmed is that next year will be a massive redesign for the iPhones. Apple is rumored to go completely portless which might also be the reason why they are getting rid of charger and headphone out of the box. Again the iPhone 13 next year is gonna be a massive massive release indeed. Now coming back to the present which is the iPhone 12 lineup we had the latest leaks regarding the pricing as well as the release date of the iPhone 12 models. According to the latest leaks the iPhone 12 mini might actually be cheaper than the initial $699 price. It might actually start at $649. That is indeed a really good price having 5G, Apple A14 and flagship cameras but the base storage for the non-pro iPhones is set to be 64 gigabyte. But the good thing with the pro model is that Apple has finally upgraded them with the 128 GB of base storage. In my opinion 64 GB in 2020 is absolutely joke. I wish Apple gave the 128 GB base storage to the non-pro iPhone models as well. Now the iPhone 12 series won't be having a charger out of the box that was confirmed 100% by an earlier leak and now it is 100% confirmed that earpods are not coming out of the box thanks to the iOS 14.2 beta software code. This leak is coming directly from Apple they have apparently changed the line that says supplied headphones meaning that they won't be supplying the wired earphones out of the box which they used to do since the beginning of days. Because of this change Apple has managed to introduce the iPhone 12 series at a cheaper starting price with a more high quality USB-C to lightning cable out of the box and there's also a all new redesigned box that is said to be very slim and small and elegant and honestly I'm kind of excited to see the unboxing experience 
experience. Like for the first time, you're gonna be unboxing a phone that doesn't have a charger or headphones out of the box. It's gonna be very, very interesting indeed. Now, AirPods Studios are confirmed to happen. Apple has apparently stopped selling the third-party headphones on their store, which basically confirms that they're making the way for their own product, the AirPods Studio. So that is everything that we're gonna see at the event. Also, we have a futuristic Apple news. Apple has apparently set their eyes on the foldable smartphone world. According to this pattern, the way Apple will be doing the foldable iPhone or foldable iPad might actually be different from the other manufacturers like Samsung. According to the pattern, Apple is working on a self-healing foldable display. The pattern describes that the display could repair itself from damage by heat or electric current. There's also an additional elastometer layer to protect the inner material of the foldable device. It's a very interesting pattern indeed. Apple will be entering the foldable market sometime in 2022, so we still have a lot more time left till we see the first foldable iPad or foldable iPhone. Apple, as you know, is always late to the game, but they want to do it the very best way possible. So that's all the latest Apple news. Apple A14 chip is blowing the competition away. And then of course, 5G finally coming to the iPhones. It's gonna be a big release, officially happening on October 13th. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, which iPhone model you're excited for. Also, if you wanna check out the full iPhone 12 mini slash AirTag concept, the link is down below in the description. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.